It's about 4 p.m. Uh, this is the Rain Lake Access. I had booked on Sawyer, but because it's uh, getting pretty late now in the day, um, and I don't know what the wind's like out over in rain, um, I'm just going to stay over here on Rain Lake. So, with further ado, I'm going to uh, jump in the boat here and uh, paddle off that way. Try to find a nice campsite. Alright, so uh, I've been paddling, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour. And, um, yeah, so I think I've got the set I like. It's, uh, it's pretty open, but yet it's uh, close to, there's no wind in here, which is good. Um, because it's like 5 degrees out. So uh, I just came from uh, fighting a pretty good headwind on the on the rain lake, and um, yeah, this one seems okay. It has a nice little table over there, fire pit. There's wood. I'll uh, laying around right right around the site, so it's all right. The only thing is a uh, very poor canoe landing here. Um, it does have a nice beach though for the summertime when it's warm out. Anyhow, that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, I take this site here and. Uh, Get everything set up and um, yeah, get everything set up. Maybe get some firewood going, cook up some food, and uh, enjoy the evening. It's pretty quiet, nice, peaceful out here. Okay, it's about 6 p.m., um, it's gonna start getting dark now. That's okay though, um, I've got a nice pile of firewood here. I haven't sawed it up, but wood's there. Um, got the tent back there. Um, got it right there so that we uh, kind of protected from a bit of wind. Um, I got food over there. I'm gonna uh, cook something up, just some dehydrated stuff I got. And um, that's all that's going on. So yeah, I got the firewood tent, everything's good. Um, also, I, I noticed with this site, there's uh, trails. One going that way, and it goes all the way down. And then another one going that way. And um, walking along them, I saw animal droppings. So, I'm, I'm assuming it's a bear or moose trail that they use. So, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not going to hold my breath at this time of year, but uh, maybe I'll see some animals this tonight or tomorrow. So... Anyhow, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll just relax and uh, get something going to eat and then uh, get the fire going. Otherwise, it's very peaceful here on Rain Lake. And uh, quite a number of chipmunks running around too. <laughs> okay, so dinner's on here, uh, or we're cooking it now. So, warming up the water here. Um, just pulling up some water in that. And uh, today I brought three different dehydrated meals, two from Mountain House and one from a uh, backpack or pantry. And the out of the three, this is the one I haven't tried yet, so I figured I'd try it out. This one is um, vegetable stew with beef. So it's got, uh, let's see, it's got potatoes, it's got your carrots, peas, um, onions, and the beef. Now, I'm not a big beef eater at all. Um, I usually just have chicken and turkey, things like that, the, the leaner meats. But um, I'm finding that the dehydrated ones are actually not bad. Um, so, like I say, I'm going to, like I had a shepherd's pie one that was pretty good um, a couple weeks ago. The lasagna meat sauce mountain house is really good. So um, I'm, I'm liking the ones with the beef, so they're not bad. So I'm going to try that out. Um, that's it, so I'm just going to wait for the water to boil and then uh, try it out, see how it tastes. Alright, so this is the beef stew, vegetable beef stew, and um, I've already had a bite and it's actually, uh, it actually has a pretty nice flavor to it. 
As you can tell, it's got the carrots, lots of carrots, peas, and the potatoes, those little uh, white squares, those are potatoes. And then it's got the, uh, the beef. So it does have a pretty good flavor. So, um, you know what, I would say if, if you like vegetable soup, pick it up. It's, it's really not too bad. Um, and probably tastes even better after a few days in the woods. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy it and um, I'm gonna get the fire going. Okay, so I've eaten and uh, I'm able to get the fire going here. Um, no birch bark either. Um, trick basically is to uh, get the smallest twigs on the ground that you can find and then uh, start with those and just work your way up to uh, bigger sticks and twigs and then pieces of wood and then eventually logs. So anyhow, that's uh, fire get going now. Try to keep this going uh, probably for a couple hours at least anyways. It's almost 7 o'clock, if not 7 o'clock now. So um, yeah, it's pretty dark out now. And um, just sitting here enjoying the fire and uh, enjoying this nice, quiet, peaceful lake. Unfortunately, no loons. It's uh, probably too late in the season. Uh, loons you may get on Opiongo, which uh, is the largest lake in the park. Uh, loons like to gather um, late in the season on large lakes, such as Opiongo, before they uh, fly south a little. So, anyhow, just gonna sit back, relax, and uh, just relax. <laughs> all right, so uh, that's all that's going on. It's so around 8 a.m. and uh, I just woke up. It's about I don't know zero minus one. There's frost on the ground, and uh, my tent got it all uh, all the stuff inside packed up. Anyhow, um, my camera went to turn on this morning, and it's giving me an error. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's the cold. It doesn't like. So I'm using my uh, cell phone camera that I had on me, and uh, that's it. So it's a, it's a beautiful morning though. Sun's coming up there, and. Um, very calm, peaceful, quiet, and uh, yeah, that's it. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the bag down and uh, get some food, and uh, we'll get on our way here. Blueberry almond vanilla granola bars, yum! Okay, so it's quarter to nine, and uh, just checking out of this campsite. Coming up to the access point launch here, and uh, I gotta say it was a very quiet, peaceful, relaxing trip. No bugs, no one else out here, just uh, peace and quiet. And uh, that's it, so uh, till next time, have a good one. See you, Rain Lake, till next time. In the distance, like in the fire.